woman who has it all, but her glamorous lifestyle has come at a price. Because Abby was actually born a male called Mark, and the decision to transition has cost her her marriage, her home, and her family. I had everything taken off me. Everything. Sorry. And that's the way it was. Everything had gone. And everyone had gone. Abby, from Manchester, says she knew she was different from an early age. I used to pray at night and ask to be wake up little girl, you know. But she kept it a secret from her friends and family, taking the decision to live out her life as a man, marry and have children. You tried to live out life living as the male that you were assigned to be. Now, after four decades of hiding, Abby has finally summoned up the courage to share her true feelings and she started a new life as a woman in Idaho, America. You come here and, and there's no past record. And I'm very lucky in that I, you know, I pass as they call it. And so I'm just treated as Abby and no one knows any different and doesn't remember any different. So my life is allowed to completely start again. She's, she's growing, you know. She's learning to be comfortable with who she's always been but never been able to express. But she has had to pay the ultimate sacrifice for transitioning. She does not have the support of her family and is now estranged from her six children. I had everything taken off me. Everything. Sorry. And that's the way it was. Everything had gone. And everyone had gone. You're leaving the old behind and it's a great advantage. But you're sacrificing holding your children. It's been a bitter pill to swallow, but Abby is determined not to hide her true self. She now plans to have full gender reassignment surgery and she hopes that one day her family will accept her as she is. Uh, this is the only picture really I've got, of, of, um, which is heartbreaking. That was actually taken as I was leaving. Um, and I treasure that one more than any, as you can imagine. It was very painful. That was literally a week before I left. And so it's very, very painful feelings go with that. So hopefully one day I'll get to see them all again. I certainly hope so.